first and foremost, hi, welcome to the channel. If you're watching this, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out, lets me know I'm doing something right. And more importantly, if you've watched more than one of my videos in the past and you've enjoyed them, uh, I would love it if you just joined us. And, and the more subscribers, the cooler bikes, the cooler adventures, and the cooler locations that I can get out to. And uh, I have a question for all of you watching. There's 25,000 of you now, which blows my mind. What is everybody riding? Comment down below what motorcycle you have um, because I'm so curious. I've always been curious. There's 25,000 potential motorcyclists watching this channel. Let's see what kind of bikes everybody's riding. Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here. Welcome to another video. We are over here at DFW Honda, just in between Dallas and Fort Worth in Texas. Please hit up my man, Justin. He will be linked in the description down below if you are looking for uh, one of these or any number of beautiful motorcycles that they have for sale. As always, this video is brought to you by Rollick. Rollick is a company connecting consumers like you and me to a network of certified dealers like DFW Honda to provide the most transparent buying experience when it comes to ATVs, side-by-sides, RVs, and of course, motorcycles like this absolutely gorgeous 2019 Honda CBR 650R. Now, I specifically chose this bike because we just took out the Kawasaki 650. This is a direct competitor to that motorcycle. And all I have to say, right off the bat, it is gorgeous. It has a beautiful ergonomic design on the rear for more comfortable daily commuting and riding, but it has that really aggressive and sharp and just lovely CBR front end. We have a base MSRP here of $9,399. It only comes in this color variant here, as you can see, lots of red with black seat, a few black accents and black frame, uh, dual-sided swing arm. It is a chain-driven six-speed manual transmission. It is an absolutely gorgeous motorcycle. We've got Showa, non-adjustable suspension in the front, a little bit strange, albeit I love Showa suspension. We've got adjustability in the rear here for preload. Down here, we've got a 649cc inline four cylinder producing 94 horsepower and 47 pound feet of torque. Now, that's a really incredible number. This is a true mid to full size motorcycle here. This would be a fantastic second bike if not third, fourth, fifth, what have you, add it to your collection, daily commuter, the comfort here, the ergos, absolutely gorgeous, the stitching on the seat, there's just so many different things about this motorcycle that they've clearly thought of, and for sub $10,000, it really screams, not only is this a great deal from Honda, but it's a great motorcycle, period. Uh, we've got a digital display up here, digital tack, digital speedometer, We've got our gear indicator, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, full nine yards. I've left the mirrors up like this because I do want to show you that they can fold completely in. If you are in a state or country where lane splitting is legal, this is actually probably a very important factor for you, albeit when they are out, they don't go very far past the handlebars, so it only matters to a certain degree. Maybe if you're trying to get in that last inch or you're jiggling your handlebars to get through, that's what she said. This is why I can't have a show. Something very interesting about this, it has the Honda Selectable Torque Control HSTC system. And effectively what that does is it controls the torque that's going to the rear wheel to prevent uh, rear, rear wheel spin when it is dialed in correctly. So it's sort of a traction control setting and um, it really gives the rider a lot of control in the turns and a little bit of peace of mind from a safety perspective. All right guys, 2019 Honda CBR6 50R, wish my glove would stay hooked in. DFW Honda, thank you, Justin. Thank you, team here. I'll be completely honest. This is the one I've been the most worried about for the best reason. It is the most powerful bike I'll have taken out today. It's got the most sporty feel to it. And I think, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna be right at home. Little baby revs. Oh my, oh geez. Oh, take my money got that very distinct inline four-cylinder sound goodbye license dude the throttle response is mental <laughs> brakes feel nice Getting used to the transmission there, you can see I uh, 
came onto the throttle a little early. The suspension is exceptionally sporty. I've taken this route now twice on two motorcycles that are far more comfort oriented than this. And uh, I am feeling every bump that I had missed before. And that's okay. You know why? Because this is a sports bike. This is a very sporty, albeit commuter friendly motorcycle. And for that, it is a incredibly interesting purchase. I mean, it's it's sportier in my opinion than the Kawasaki 650 by leaps and bounds, albeit it doesn't lose that semi comfort feel. Oh man, it's going to it's a shame that there aren't any twisty roads around here that I can get to today just because I have to keep it within a, a certain mileage of the dealership as is uh, perfectly fair on a brand new motorcycle, not trying to put hundreds of miles on it. Um, but this little route that I've got here will, will show me everything I need to know and, and right off the bat, I mean most motorcycles you can tell almost immediately how good they're going to be, how sporty they're going to feel. This is one of them. Oh, that transmission slots into gear so easily. I know a lot of people are probably upset that I'm using the clutch. But, uh, of course, no quick shifter here. Not a lot of gizmos, doodads, and tech on this bike other than the traction control assist or, uh, or uh, torque control as Honda coins it. Um, clutchless upshifts are certainly possible on a motorcycle like this. I personally wouldn't do it on something that isn't mine just because, who knows, the dealership might have a specific way that they want you to treat their demo bikes or, in this case, a bike that will certainly be sold to the public. And I want to make sure whoever gets it next gets a great motorcycle. Uh, something we will do though is shake and bake this person. Feels really good. Wind protection is 100% there. A uh, little bit of buffeting around my helmet, but I'm sure you could get an extended double bubble windscreen for this for a very moderate price and take care of that completely. Albeit if you're in a tuck, then you can't feel the wind at all. Now, although this is far sportier than anything I've ridden today, and uh, in my personal opinion, much sportier than the Kawasaki 650, it certainly doesn't skirt the line of uncomfortable. I feel perfectly fine. Uh, there is a bit more weight in my wrists than, of course, on a standard motorcycle, and I am having to keep myself kind of upright using my core as one would on a sport bike. I do have my legs in an engaging position against the tank, and uh, the balls of my feet are on the foot pegs so that I can shift my weight when I go into a turn as you would on a sport bike and well, most other motorcycles uh, that don't have forward controls, that is. Let's go have some fun, yeah? Yeah, that gets up and goes, I'll tell you what. I'm shifting unnecessarily through the gears. You don't need six gear there, you could have chilled in second. But the transmission feels so good, so smooth. Makes you want to use it. Holy mother of Christ, that was a bold move. But I guess if you're driving an 18 wheeler, you gotta be bold, right? This is a fun one. This is a very fun one. What a bike. I am enjoying this thoroughly. Let's leave the windscreen a little ajar here, get some breeze going. Hopefully it doesn't F my mic up. Sounds good, man. It sounds very, very good. Uh, it's a little touchy. It's, it's you know, inline four, it's a high uh, horsepower displacement motorcycle. I mean, this is a real bike. And I think that's just to say that I need to get used to the throttle response of a true sporty motorcycle again because I've been riding a lot of standards, I've been riding a lot of entry levels, uh, which I love, don't get me wrong, but this is, this is where focus and fun and, and passion come into play here. You can really ring this thing out if you wanted to. Redline doesn't even start till about 12,000 plus RPM, uh, as this is a very, very new bike. I'm not taking it anywhere near that. It is super comfy. And it's also so powerful. <laughs> God willing, someday I will get to review a motorcycle on a track day. That would be so cool. That is a dream of mine as the Duke of DC to someday 
be able to take one of these bikes out to a track event really show you guys what they can do Is it down? Welcome to space. Oh my golly, jeez. Sweet baby Jesus. And your little golden baby manger. Oh my gosh, I literally think the, the world just blurred around me. That was awesome. This, this has so much more power than what I'm using right now. I mean, I should have kept it in second that whole time. I, I legitimately got a little scared. Beep boop. Oh man, oh man. 2019 Honda CBR650R. This is another certified buy. I mean, this is a fantastic bike. It's a great mid to like high and professional level motorcycle 100 horsepower 47 pound feet of torque in this gorgeous cbr kind of aggressive styling uh the inline four cylinder purrs there's a little bit of vibration that is pretty synonymous with these inline fours something i experienced a lot in the s1000r uh, that i owned and something i've experienced in a ton of other inline fours that i've ridden that's probably the biggest difference between this and the kawasaki um, is that that bike was smooth as a button whereas this has a few little rough moments, albeit I think this is a much more exciting, thrilling, aggressive, and sporty motorcycle. So if that's what you're looking for, um, this is the one. I mean, it's a perfect commuter bike. It's got a beautiful pillion seat for a second passenger. It has a ton of usability. It's well efficient. It's not too heavy. I mean, it's it's a good flipping bike sub ten thousand dollars brand new from honda uh you know honda reliability is outrageous synonymous the words go hand in hand someone says honda i think reliability and it's just beautiful the show of suspension is sporty the nissan calipers bite really well the whole thing great purchase thank you dfw honda for letting me take this out if you are in the area please hit up my man justin of course link in the description down below and as always thank you to rollick for sponsoring this video um please subscribe like comment down below what motorcycle you own i'm very curious to see what everybody has and uh, this is kind of my new thing but uh, make sure to take care of yourself take care of others and take care of this planet and as always i will see you on the next one